I have my glasses on, which means this is going to be a very educational video about Rachel. Hello, I'm Rachel Joy Fi, and the other day I was organizing my old elementary and middle school books alphabetically because that's what I do with my free time. And I was looking through the books and then I found this top secret personal beeswax. So this kind of journal thing was made by the author of the Junie B. Jones books, which I loved as a kid. And so I was reading through this and there are some very funny things. I was about seven or eight when I was filling this journal out and just like a regular journal nowadays, I didn't fill out all of it, but I filled out quite a bit. So I wanted to share a couple gems, some top secret personal beeswax gems. First of all, on the cover, I have a picture of myself. See, see, that's me. Here's some other pictures of what I look like at this age. Ooh, and there's me eating some, some puffer cheese. So with Junie B. Jones, she had her middle name, but she just initialed it B, so then I just initialed mine. J, so I just refer to myself as Rachel J throughout all of this. So this is the all about me section, and there's, if I could have a different name, it would be Grace, maybe I could ride the bus with you. I, I'm not quite sure what, what that's referring to. I feel like that's an inside joke, but I don't understand the joke. My hair is kind of brownish and yellowish and they blend in with each other. I also apparently had very bad spelling back then and my eyes are blue. There's my self portrait. That's pretty, a that's pretty accurate right now. I just have less yellow hair right now. So Rachel J's family facts. Three words that describe my mom are short hair, nice, busy girl. <laughs> what? Three words that describe my dad. He loves football. <laughs> I don't know why I said this, but I wrote the thing I like best about my family is one of my sisters. <gasps> I'm sorry, my other sisters. I love you now. Apparently, you are not my favorite part of my family back then. And the one thing I don't like about my family is I am not the boss of them. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. But if I was the boss of my house, I would make my mom and dad do anything I wanted and I would eat pizza rolls for lunch and dinner. Eat those pizza rolls. <laughs> and I would go to the bank and get free money. Cause if you're the boss of your own house, you can just go to the bank and get free money. And the last thing I would get a castle. I still, I still want a castle. Three rules I would change in my house. First, I would watch TV when I want to. Second, I would go to Girl Scouts and do fun things. Third, I would have a phone, a TV, and a Vito now. I, I'm not quite sure what that last thing is, but. So there's a part where you talk about what best friends you have and what friends you have at school. And one of the sentences I'm supposed to complete are, here are some other people I like. I don't know anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> you knew so many other people, Rachel. You didn't just know these four people that you wrote down. <laughs> and another sentence I had to fill in. Last year, my best friends were, I don't know my best friends from last year. <laughs> I had such a bad memory back then. <laughs> and for the first 13 years of my life, I had a dog named Paco. That's my dog, that's my old dog. And apparently I couldn't spell his name right, but here I'm talking about my dog. My favorite pet is my dog, Paco. He was also my only <laughs> pet. My favorite thing to do with my pet is when he chases his tail. I don't interact with him, I, I just like seeing him chase his tail. Sometimes I catch my pet staring at me. When this happens, I bet Paco is thinking, you are my favorite person in the entire world. I don't like your other sister very much. That doesn't mean I don't like her. The end, bow wow. <laughs> and then I drew a little picture of Paco. If I could change one thing about my house, it would be, I would make it into a castle with water around it I would be a princess and I would have a disco room. <laughs> That's so specific. The color of my room is white. It matches my dog. I share a room with my sister. My dog can't go up there. One, it's on the top bunk and two, he can't go on the rug. I was just so focused on my dog apparently at this point. My closet is a boring place. 
Ooh, now we're getting into favorites and unfavorites. My favorite color is yellow. It is the color of my blanket. My unfavorite color is black because it is not a pretty color. I'll have to disagree with you there, Rachel. Black is, is a very pretty color. My favorite game is Candyland. My unfavorite game is Parentheses, I don't know a game I don't like. I liked all games back then. <laughs> Here are all the things that made me nervous. Apparently I had to use the last slot and I'm only nervous of one thing. I'm sure I meant to write that I was afraid of a snake, but, but, but this is what it says. The last thing I am nervous when I am going to touch a snack. Here's why. I don't think that one actually needs explaining. <laughs> I'm afraid of snacks. Oh, and then the next thing is like two pages of your own so you can write whatever you want. It's blank. I didn't even write anything. I was working on this journal for about a year and I couldn't fill in everything. Why did I do this? More favorites. Thanks, Rachel. I will never know your favorite smell or your favorite insects or your favorite fruit or your favorite farm animal sound. Feeling my feelings embarrassment. Embarrassment feels embarrassing. <laughs> One of my most embarrassing moments ever was when I call my teacher mom. So I think moms should not be like teachers. Let's see my little illustration. That's what a teacher should look like. And that's what a mom should look like. Apparently I never felt sad and blue. So I had a, I had a, I had a good childhood and I never felt scared either. Look at that. Never, never felt scared. Ooh, a name game. R, racer. A, a good girl. C, caring. H, happy. E, I think that says Ecuador. <laughs> it's like crossed out or erased, but it says Ecuador. <laughs> Ecuador just describes me as a person. <laughs> L, little girl, and J, joyful. Oh. Because my middle name is Joy, so that's where I got that from. I wasn't original at all. I also didn't have any wishes for a genie, so that's nice. This journal belongs to Junie B and Rachel J. So that was my top secret personal beeswax, so I hope you enjoyed it because it, I've had a, I'm had a lot of fun reading through this and just seeing how my mind worked when I was seven or eight. It was interesting. <laughs> but I hope that you like this video and I hope that you have a great day. Do I look the same? Do I look the same?